those of you who do your banking with Chase can uh, rest easy knowing that they finally released their application for Android in the Android market after months of teasing us. And um, it's actually almost exactly like the iPhone version except for the fact that you can't uh, make quick pay payments. So um, other than that little shortcoming, um, just like the iPhone version, we have a, uh, there's a demo of that on, um, on the post if you guys want to see that. We'll have a link to that on the post. Um, I would show you guys here, but I don't want you guys speaking into my bank account, so I won't. The game <laughs> Spirit from iOS also made its way over to the Android platform this week, but unfortunately, you're going to have to have a 2.2 or a later device to play it. Otherwise, you're just met with this message that you have an old firmware in your phone. So, TweetDeck's been updated recently, and it brings with it one very important feature landscape view. Um, something a lot of people were missing in the uh, beta versions of TweetDeck, but, um, and then, you know, in the initial release, but we finally have it here. Um, whenever, whether you have a keyboard or not, uh, you will be able to view TweetDeck in landscape. Not sure why it took so long, but hey, uh, better late than never, and we're just happy to see it. So, go ahead and download it, version 1.0.3 in the Android market, right? The now. folks at Thick Buttons have updated their beta application of 0.9, and it brings with it some more uh, languages to use the, the application with. And um, for Froyo users, you get that voice search button. I'm here on Thick Buttons right now, but as you can see, that voice search button, that voice input button isn't there because I'm not on Froyo. I'm actually on Eclair because this is a Galaxy S phone and um, you guys know how that works so <laughs> um, but if you're on Froyo you should see that new uh, microphone button popping up somewhere on a keyboard whenever you download the updated version in the market now called thick buttons and uh, let's see just give you guys a demo short demo of it if you haven't already uh, uh, played with it I want to show you guys how you can add actually um, text to the dictionary and it actually picks that up in thick buttons too. I know it's such a uh, a brain dead feature that you expect any uh, alternative keyboard to have but some of them just don't adapt to words and thick buttons does it just fine so that's thick buttons version 0.9 in the Android market right now. Flight Track Pro 4.0 is in the Android market now and it brings with it a nice UI overhaul with a few new features um, and I have I've had a little bit of time to play with it I don't travel often so haven't had that much uh, use for it but uh, what I have played with it uh, from what I see, everything looks awesome here. It uh, gives you up-to-date information on your flight, what time it lands, what time it leaves, um, if it's late, early, what gate it left from, where your bags are going to be. And uh, even if the flight is en route, it will show you how far in the air you are, um, how far to your destination uh, you have to go, and um, just everything you would possibly want to know. And then they have a forecast of... Uh, a percentage of you're going to be on time or you're going to be late, 30 minutes late, 15 minutes late. Um, so you kind of get a, a good visual look at where you are. If you're going to be on time, you can alert your friends and family ahead of time if there's a delay. I suppose if you're on a Wi Fi connection sitting on the airplane, um, you can do that. And then they give you kind of a, a look at the map of where you're going. So I guess these, uh, this flight's going to Hawaii, actually. Yeah. So. Um, you can actually see where you are. So right now, if I were on this flight, I would be over the ocean. Um, this is pretty cool just to know where you're at. It's not particularly useful. You can't really do anything on this screen here. Um, you can look at the uh, forecast, weather forecast, and everything like that uh, for wherever you're going or coming from. But, yeah, this is not really that useful. Just something cool they added. It uh, doesn't hurt to have. And then here you can just... Uh, kind of look at the seat map, see where you're sitting, how many seats on the plane, and where the exits are. And then they have the ability to call the airline. And they actually put the little uh, parameters here for you to get straight to a representative and not have to go through pressing buttons because we know how much of a pain that could be, especially if you're rushing through an airport, which you likely are if you're going to be using this app. So OpenFate just informed everyone that uh, they've added eight new games to the Android market. Uh, with open fate support and those include Frogger, Bomberman, um, and a few others. A lot, uh, some I haven't really heard of but um, I've he I hear they're quite decent games and actually uh, a lot of them have been come from iOS recently. Word Mix was another, uh, I believe, what else, I think 
Kilgamore Castle. I'm not even sure how to pronounce that, but I think that was one. Um, but eight new games, and they said they have three, over 300 more in the works. So uh, that brings the total up to 100 games now. Um, Open Fate is doing an awesome job of getting the Android gaming scene going and uh, getting a lot of excitement from developers, and, and that shows in uh, the fact that they have over 300 new games coming, in, I guess over the course of the next year, I would suppose. But... Um, yeah, that's awesome. So go ahead and download Faint Spotlight to check out these new games. Frogger is $4.99. Most of these games are going to cost you. Um, but, hey, that's the price you pay for quality games. You can't get everything for free. So uh, be sure to check these out if they even look remotely interesting QR to you. codes for most of the apps featured in today's AppCast can be found in the post below. Or you can just head to, uh, to the Android Market, search for them, or go to Get Jar, look for them, and uh, get downloading. So uh, until next Friday, see you guys. Peace.